Ah, uh, yes, they're letting the farmers run the guard ship now. Oh, there it goes. Build the next building over. Oh, is he in the church? I guess it is the morning. Am I being a naughty right now? Am I interrupting your prayers? The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? It's all sorted out, sir. You've no need to worry about the vicar anymore. Excellent. Some good news at last. I've heard some pretty wild rumors from Ujits. So what happened there, exactly? Maybe this will surprise you, sir, but there really were heretics in Ujits. Are you telling me the vicar didn't come to stick his nose in my possessions? I don't know about that, but he definitely suspected there were heretics hereabouts, and he was right. Christ! A man doesn't expect that sort of thing in his own fiefdom. Did you catch them? No, they ran away. The vicar's investigation wasn't exactly low-key. Anyway, they've definitely fled beyond your estate. Oh, that's at least something. And the vicar? He's probably hot on their heels. Hmm, well, I hope he doesn't come back. Anyway, Henry, thanks for dealing with that vicar. You pulled a thorn from my side. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Thank you, sir. St. Michael's Sward. Got 52, 52, 2 on this one. 58, 58, 3. It's an upgrade. Like a direct upgrade for the same category and everything. Higher defense, higher everything else. Significantly higher minimum strength as you'd expect, I suppose. All right, looks like we're done with saving grace then, and we're down moving moving on to St. Michael's sword. The long sword of St. Michael, patron of soldiers and sentries, guardians of law and order and defenders. The masterly forged blade of steel that would do even the archangel proud is made of the best material and its rich ornament makes it a fine piece. 100% condition, good all around. Be good to go. See so attack values, defense values, health, energy, nourishment, visibility, conspicuous noise. Where is my ah? Uh. Ooh, is it my reputations with different groups? I haven't looked at this menu for a while, have we? Reputation with the Scalets refugees, the Rote. Countryside, the soldiers, the citizens like me, apparently. Ushits, just the villagers, mixed response. Scalets. What I'm trying to find is my cleanliness stat, if it's visible anywhere. Which I've mentioned before, but I'm really like, I just, I can't tell. Hmm. I'm just gonna go to the bathhouse. I'm just gonna go to the bathhouse. I'm just going to check it out. Let's see, first let's do this bef for beforehand for comparison. So we're, just in case any of my clothes are dirty. We good? So I have a charisma of 12. And I'm wearing my, co my cosmetic items. I'm going to go to the bathhouse and we're going to see if that... Oops. That's my nourishment. No, what am, I, what am I talking about? I've already, I've already eaten. I have, a, I have a pig stat right now, you dummy. Or did you forget and you just ate? I'm going to go to the bathhouse, and I'm going to see if it affects my charisma stat. Because I can't tell how dirty I am. They're always- because there's always like, you can't get any cleaner using a trough. You're going to- uh, you're going to have to use a bathhouse and stuff like that. But I'm like, I can't tell when I'm dirty? Because my face never looks dirty. Like, my, my face is like the only way I'd be able to tell, really. Like, the game is filled with dirty people. And I'm like, look at that guy! The freaking vicar is covered in mud, like, all over his face, in the rain somehow. And I'm like, why are you so muddy? And, like, we, we've, and we've, like, we did, we did all these question, missions with, uh, Hans Capon. And every time we see him, he was, like, covered in blood and mud all over his face. And I'm like, okay, that's what dirty people look like in this game, right? But, like, 
surely the bathhouse exists for a reason, but I, can't, I don't seem to ever be dirty, but the bathhouse exists, presumably to make me not dirty. And I can't tell? Hi, everyone. I'm just gonna go in here. Uh, or do I talk, should I talk to one of you guys? Bathmaid. No? Ah, uh, bathhouse proprietor. Use the services. I'm interested in your uh, services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? To pay for a lunch and everything that goes with that. <laughs> Proper bath. And my clothes need washing. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Uh, let's just pay ten. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Huh. Did I do it already? Charisma 13. That's the massive change I get, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. What? You're standing inside of each other and you're gonna complain about freaking proximity and stuff? So I think I already did the bath, right? The way that we were all just standing in the same place after it was over made it feel like I was supposed to go do the bath or something and like it wasn't over yet. But I heard a little water noise and 13... I guess my charisma went up by one, so... I guess I did it? I'm not... I mean, the one point technically can make a difference during conversations, but yeah, I'm uh... Considering how long the game's been so far, like... I kind of question the purpose of it. Kind of like how I question, like, why would I cook anything ever if I can just grab a free amount of food from the infinite food pots that exist everywhere. So, like, why would I... How often is it going to be necessary for me to go to a bathhouse instead of just, like, rubbing water on my face? Which seems pretty valid. Let's see here. Now let's look at the map to see if there's anything locally around here. That's the tipster. Aside from that, there's no major missions around here. Okay. But up there is where I'm supposed to find Riki and find work for them, so I'm, I might go there next. What's my other quest? Right, Vengeance. Courtship I can't do until the evening. I don't really feel like waiting here either. Alright then. How about we head north? On the scent and friend in need. We're gonna find we're gonna try to find work for Matthew and Fritz, and we're gonna try to find Riki, who uh has a name that indicates some issues with smell, apparently. And there's a bridge to the north, so it's gonna be pretty easy to get Oh, Jesus. I keep forgetting that when I open the menu, my character keeps walking for a bit while the, while I can't see. Let's see. I should sell off my old weapon. Before I do that, I should make it better. St. Michael's sword. Oh, Knight's Hunting Sword is terrible quality. Let's fix that up. There we go. Am I doing good? Wait a second. Our character's very tired. Sparks equals good. Keep it going. No, I feel like I can't quite tell. That's gotta be a terrible angle. Oops. There we go. Which parts still need to be fixed? Because I feel like none of it looks good. What quality is that in right now? Ooh, we leveled up at maintenance. 93. That's okay-ish. It's hard to tell which parts of it need to be fixed, because the whole thing looks like shit, frankly. Ooh, there's some. No, stop burning it. Stop, stop breaking the sword. Ah. Oh, 
Once it gets past 90%, I often kind of can't tell uh, where it needs to be fixed at that point. Saving grace, 96. Yeah, that's fine. Some swords, are, some swords look nicer than other ones, so it's much easier to spot hey, where the messed up parts are. You're supposed to rub. Rub. Hello. God grant you help. How may I help you? You could just take all my weapons off of me real quick. Uh, yeah, they're all swords, so I shouldn't have any reason to hold on to any of these. Uh, Saving Grace does not have a, a large trade back value, does it? What's the highest value, like, damage sword you have here? Like, St. Michael's sword is listed as a 58. It does go higher than that. Not a lot of them, though. There's Razor, Piercer, and Herod's sword. Short sword, long sword, long sword. So Piercer and Herod's sword are both upgrades. Ooh. Herod's sword is good for swinging, and Piercer is good for stabbing. And I can afford it. Like, easily, actually. Oops, went to the wrong tier for a second there. Let's see, what's my, uh... I have a stab of 63. This would give me a stab of 74. I mean, if I'm gonna keep, if I keep playing this way, I might as well just commit, right? Piercer. I found the equivalent of a rapier, you guys. And I'm making a profit right now. Oops, I forgot to haggle. Oh well. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to settle for having a very high damage stabby weapon. Yay. Um. Do I have any repairs to do? Holy crap. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, that's... You can fix a chaperone? Weird. Does, Let's I, does, talk about the price. It's not a, it's not a well, weapon I figured had like the it. characteristics you'd repair. I mean, not weapon. Uh, Satisfied? I'd almost. It's always that. bad when Henry almost. speaks first. It always means you didn't win. Hi. For that amount, I can be persuaded. What, what is a chaperone made of? If that's even how you pronounce it. If uh, if it's repairable by a weaponsmith, and like only that right, piece was repairable. None of my other items are repairable, because they're not applicable to him. Oh, weird. Well, I'm in town, so I should repair everything. Because we've seen the- we've seen it go bad before. God save you. What can I do for you? Let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right, so I'm haggling you down by one coin. It's very important to me. I have so much money on me. I might. Oops. Maybe I should just trade up to an another upgraded item. Unfortunately, I can't sort by charisma. And half these items are for women, so not equipment items for me, but like a gift, I suppose. Let's see. I suppose the best I can do is probably to sort by price. The higher the price, the more likely it is to be useful, probably. Why are these sorted def- oh, weird. All the ones you can't wear are sorted separately, even within the price category. This, that's Charisma 20. My helm's already a Christmas 20, I think. That's like the best I can do for charisma, it looks like. Sure, why not? I'll trade it for my slot of category. Uh... For the green one. Goodbye, green outer vest. I kind of liked you. 
Anyway... Let's talk about the price. Hmm. You better believe it. We're gonna haggle on this one. Your nightmare price. What about this? Well, now. Well. How's that gonna fill up? Oop. We're still, it's still doing okay. Let's do another round. Right, oh no, he was he was cool with that. So now we're at a charisma of fifteen. Unprecedented. Man, I don't like the way I look. I really liked all the green clothes better, and the vest, and the hat. The chaperone thing looks like garbage. I hate it. But I'm so pretty now, according to the fake people that don't exist in this video game. They're really psyched about how I look now. Now I'll be able, maybe I'll be able to save somebody's life with how pretty I am. I'm not really joking either, I'm like, I... That was part of how I saved their lives earlier. That, that quest was determined by my charisma stat, basically, and the fact that I have a bonus with peasants, specifically. So, uh, it's worth trying out. Um... Right, we're trying to go north. Um... Time to play the fun part where I slowly switch out all of my clothes. It's very exciting. Because there's no fast way to do this, but if I wear my fancy clothes when I'm going on adventures, I'm gonna get that stuff broken, and that would really suck. That's the one item that might be still better. Let's see. Be all the stuff sent over. Ah, right. I need to sell off everything that I'm not wearing to make this process better. Because I've found some new items. Always wear the riding spurs. Yeah, these gloves are also a downgrade. God damn, look at me. We have had some upgrades, haven't we? Hmm. I have not been using the shield lately, have I? Because I've been doing... I've been going, uh... The longsword seems to benefit from being used two-handed. The villager's ash bow. 37 attack. I can use the Hazel Hunting Bow fine now, right? Because the 10 strength. But I don't need you anymore. Oops. It's not the button I was going for. There we go. That's not what I was going for either. I'm <laughs> pressing all the wrong buttons. Alright. The Bandit Leader Spurs. Wait. When did I get those? Can I turn in the the Can I turn in the quest now? Kill the camp leader. So this is zero out of one, but I have the leader spurs. Isn't that what I needed? I'm actually not sure. Can I turn it in now? Either way, we're going to the armor real quick because I have some crap to offload. Like across the board, really. Uh, armor is right in here. I am exceptionally slow at the moment. I think I can't run at the moment, right? God save you. Oh, right. I also need to repair my armor if possible. Holy crap, look at me. So everything I'm not wearing should be sellable, because all of my cosmetics should be not in my inventory right now. Hey, that makes me just light enough to be able to actually walk around. Isn't that exciting? I think that's everything I can do. I mean, something in here is probably technically an upgrade, sure, but I get upgrades on the fly enough that maybe I could just hope to find more on my own. I look pretty decked out at the moment. 
Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. All right, so. Think about a game where you're going to go on a bunch of duels against different, uh... Against knights Satisfied? and armored people constantly. That's better. Drop it a bit more, Is that you? We'll you're gonna get you're deal. gonna get tons of armor for free, essentially. Not free because you have to fight them, but you know what I mean. I'll go for that. But you don't really you don't really mass slaughter a lot of noblemen necessarily, and if you did, uh, their clothes would probably be ruined. Nope, no repairs to be made. I'm not over encumbered anymore, right? Hmm. I think I have another issue where I have like... Yeah, goblets and crap that I would like to sell off. Communion chalice. But I think... If I remember correctly, the most of the vendors don't buy them. And then there's the generic vendor here. But I think the generic vendor usually has a really small amount of money on, on in pocket, so then I usually can't God sell it. Save you. Good night. Let's see here. You have a wealth of five. Never mind. So, are you happy with your new cook, Merchant Hagen? Happy? It's a fucking nightmare! Well, what's the matter? I chose her according to my best knowledge and conscience. She certainly knows how to cook. With you, Henry. Her food is excellent, but her stories... Stories? More like sermons, actually. All about the evils of Mammon, how Jesus threw the merchants out of the temple and whatnot. And it's all Father Francis this, Father Francis that. No doubt, Father Francis was a saint with infinite patience. Well, the main thing is she knows how to cook, isn't it? True. Her trout, braised in wine with spices, honestly fit for a king, I must admit. And she can manage all the housework. Perhaps in time, she'll lose interest in preaching, I hope. So, it seems things worked out well enough, didn't they? Well, I asked for a cook and you sent me one, but... Exactly. I did what you asked. So, about my reward. Do you really think you deserve one? Well, considering the time and effort I put into it... I'm sorry, but I'm still not satisfied. We can talk about it later if things work out. Wow. Wow. Are you serious? Screw that guy. <laughs> Freaking... He's not satisfied with the amazing cook he got because she tells annoying stories, kind of? That's some next level privilege given how this whole setting works overall and like how like the kind of struggle most so many characters have and this guy's like my cook tells stories that i find boring or annoying but it's the best thing it's the best food ever and she does all the chores and she just takes care of all of my problems and she's basically perfect what baffling that guy's a prick i should have sent him the woman that sucked at cooking he'd probably be happier wouldn't he the other person didn't even know how to cook the other candidate didn't even know how to cook they were just going to be some person that was looking for a job and but like well she's the hot thing and i'm ooh, it's just, i'm into this or something Although even he was like, other things don't matter. All that matters is can he cook? Can she cook? Save and they can. What, what, are you, what are you doing, buddy? You look, you, you look like a thing. You a thing? What is it? It's just that you seem to me like a man who doesn't frighten easily. And as it happens, I'm looking for someone just like you. All right. Tell me what it's about. Let me put it this way. I know how to come by some serious wealth, treasure, so to speak, and I'm willing to share this information with you for a trifling sum. Yeah, you're clearly full of shit, right? I don't get it. Why don't you just get the treasure for yourself? That's easy to say, only it's sure to be buried in some remote place, and the whole countryside is crawling with bandits and all sorts of vermin. I'd rather sell it to you for a few groschen than risk my neck. 
Sounds a little fishy to me. How do you know about it? Well, I helped this merchant out, see? His wagon got stuck in the mud, and in return, he had shared it with me. He told you where he had money hidden? That sounds unlikely. The thing is, at the time, he wasn't quite alive, see? What? I mean, I found the merchant dead in his wagon. So me and my cousin uh, freed the wagon, and as I was helping him into the grave, we dug... Well, my hand accidentally slipped inside his coat and caught hold of this parchment with something scribbled on it. Right. No beating about the bush. It's a rather wild story. But worth a try. Excellent. Here, take this. And I wish you good fortune in your search. Why can't I haggle with them? Like in all the other cases where I can haggle? Oh, well. Inherently, whenever someone tells a story, like, Oh, yes, I have a treasure. And no, I just can't get it myself. Please check this out. I'm always inherently distrusting of that entire story. But the, the amount of growth is so negligible compared to how much I have overall that I'm like, Eh, screw it. It'll give me something to do. Go check out a quest, you know? Speaking of which, I might as well actually look at the item in question. Quest item? No. Other? Treasure map six. The Dechko. Up the river. Isn't the Dechko where I'm going right? Oops. Right now? Uh, I haven't discovered the Dechko yet. It's in the weird question mark zone. Come here, sheep. I'm here to end you. So was, I think that might be Ledechko. Yep. Small village with the mill. During the 14th and 15th centuries, the village belonged to Arnold Arnost of Townburg. The village originally had a small, a second mill called Kuschelnik. I was looking for this though. How's nourishment? Oh, it's great. We're fine. We're a we're a okay. And wouldn't you have it when I prep in my armor? Uh, nothing freaking comes at me, and we're totally fine the whole time. Oh well. Now that I'm in town, it's time to switch back. Categories would be so nice, among other things. Oh. I'm doubled up. Charisma. Oh, 19, 17. I need to sell those off. Whoops. But also... I have that one piece of armor that has high charisma. But don't forget that. Yep, charisma 18. That should increase my average overall. Alright, Mr. Charisma 15, who gets a bonus of talking while in town. Or gets a bonus of everything while in town, huh? Let's go see if I can talk my way into my friends having jobs, and also where Reek is. I believe it's just the whole zone, right? Yeah, Reeky could be anywhere. Where Matthew and Fritz need to quest right around there. Alright. That's fine. I just gotta find the closest Bolton, and he'll be able to tell me where, where Reek has shown up. Oop. Careful. <laughs> I'm... Was making a mess of that whole process. Yelling about bread, huh? You do you. 
Maybe the same person I ask about the job will also be able to tell me about Reek. Wouldn't that be convenient? Uh, hello, who are you? Old Thomas. I'm honored that you should come to me. Is there any work here for carpenters? Are they locals? From Scalitz. Then no. I only take in people I know. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinek? He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Try at his folks' house. But he doesn't spend much time there. So you know this Hinek? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough. But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, the Hinek's nature is no sweeter than his smell. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratai for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Is there any work here? In this day and age, I'm glad I can support myself. So we just take the the straight up rejection of the work thing right up front. No chance to even do a persuasion approach or anything. How about you? How do you guys have names? Good day to you. What do you need? Teresa, the mill maid, sent me. She said you could use some help. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalitz, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Thomas, my foreman, tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? I only take in people who are willing to do hard, honest work. Oh, his skills are non-existent. You know me. He doesn't know me, does he? I'm from Scalitz, and I know them both personally. They worked in the Royal Mines, and their master couldn't praise them highly enough. In the Scalitz Mines? That's skillful work. I'll be glad to talk to them. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. I probably don't need to talk about Riki anymore. Because I think I've already gotten enough leads to start on that one. So I can tell them that they have work if they come down here. I, um... Surprised how localized it was like Thomas says he only hires locals but the other guy was like yeah sure and I'm like wait don't they work for the same in the same group it's a huge divergence of answers from person to person so there's the bathhouse the whole zone is still the whole zone so C is the bathhouse B, B is the father don't think I've saved since I arrived in town which is a problem that was a journey and there we go We 
Which one of you is the right one? Oh, you. Jesus! Hey, oh. what are you doing here? Clear off quick or I'll have you thrown out. Apparently it's very, very naughty to walk in on the room. Did not realize there was a work in progress there. I caused like an actual physical disturbance in that moment, didn't I? I like flinched. We'll just wait a moment and see if she leaves. 